Hello Cooper and Sarah, TravelLiveLearn.com. We are travel content creators and we understand firsthand how busy schedules and hectic lifestyles can lead to poor choices and bad habits. Now new research out of Lonely Planet says that 92% of us see travel or getaways or a holiday as an opportunity for a fresh start. Here in Ibiza, we're going to tell you exactly how to achieve this. While we're here in Ibiza, we are on a mission to show you that there's much more to do here than just partying and raving. Now we're in Spain, and what better way to find out about a place than through its food? So we've enrolled in a paella cooking class in a sublime location. Can't wait to show you. The Spanish are famous for when it comes to their cuisine, especially when it comes to making paella. And we're going to learn how to make the traditional dish, seafood paella. And our chef this afternoon is Mr. Felix. Keep having us, Felix. Hi to everybody. Felix, what's going to be in our paella this afternoon? So today we are going to make the paella that normally I made. Squid, green pepper, prawns, and crabs. And like it's a uh, prawn very little and very fresh. You can eat completely with the skin. This, for example, is really amazing. Okay, Sarah, I'm going to try the beef and prawn. So, step one, I need to pull off its head. Perfect. And now I need to take three deep breaths. I need to... You have to think that you are going to die. And the last thing that you are going to eat is stay inside it. Okay. <laughs> so you only have to press with your te teeth yeah. and, okay. and enjoy. I am little yellow now. That's actually quite nice. Yeah, that's really sweet. That's lovely. I'm going to start to put the the prawns, the crabs. And now we can crush the head a little and all liquid inside is going to get safe. So very important. One minute, one minute and a half. Bueno, start to smell. And now I think, please, Emilia, a plate. You could eat this prawn now. The name in Spain is gambones. They're probably the biggest prawns I've seen, right? And we have some pretty big prawns okay. in Queensland. <laughs> those, those, are, those are all right. <laughs> now and we put this, the squid, the pepper, and the alcachofa. For everybody, now stay near to be ready. You can see that every ingredient has sometimes little piece, little burr. Take care, not burn completely, but you know, uh, all cook slowly. And the olive oil is uh, finishing because later we are gonna put the picada that has water, more olive oil. Everything is ready, is good fried, little burr on the base of the pan of the paella in Spanish and we are gonna put the picada. I forget one ingredient from the picada because you know, when you meet people here from Ibiza, nobody's gonna tell you the secret ingredient, you know? So now the picada, you can see that is the water leaf, the color change, so it's the moment you can listen the noise that is gonna burn. I'm gonna put the fire more down and I'm gonna put the rice. Normally it's uh, 100 grams per person. You have to try to fry all the rice. Okay. A little more caldo. Everybody have to know that in Ibiza you can find everything and you can find uh, really good places, very chill. So, it's amazing. Beautiful. we are gonna enjoy. Gracias, Shelly. We are enjoying. You're welcome. It's delicious. Okay. If you come to Ibiza, if you want to know how to do a really nice paella, authentic paella, uh, like the origin, and you can enjoy with this amazing views. So, thank you so much, nice to meet you, and uh, see you later. Keen to shake up and reorganize your food routine? Get inspired when you're away and then at home. Get curious about what's fresh and available near you. Is there a new market you can visit? Commit a little time each month to learning and trying something new in the kitchen. 
Look for foodie experiences near you at home to continue being inspired by new ideas. Keep an eye on Eventbrite and Facebook for local events. This with a view to consciously adopting what feels good for your wallet and your waistline and making sure boredom doesn't influence bad food choices. Overall, we want people to realise if you're able to make a few changes on your holiday, whether it's being more active each day, making healthier food choices, or simply taking time out for yourself, you're taking steps in the right direction. The opportunity for change begins here.